Welcome to Land House, I'm Seth. I reached out to a company called Papa Pump and they sent me their Agri Pump, which is a redesigned Ram Pump. Now, if you're not familiar with what a Ram Pump is, I've worked with them for years. They look a lot like this right here. It's got a waste valve, an inline valve, and a pressure tank. Basically, water will flow into this and fall into the pump and activate the valves and lift water uphill. This is gonna have the same kind of thing going on. There are a couple of O-rings inside of this block here that will activate back and forth based on the input head pressure. The circular thing here on top is where the waste water will come out. And your water you're trying to pump uphill will accumulate some pressure here in this pressure tank and then send water up here on this side right here. So I have a full unboxing and first look at all the components of the Agri Papa Pump. So if you will head over to my Tools, Tech, and Gear channel, you can see that video and be sure to subscribe. In this video, we're going to hopefully get everything installed down here in my creek and see water pumped up to my storage tanks. So let's head down to the creek and get this thing installed. This pump comes with a really nice instruction booklet with all kinds of information on how to install. The ideal install based on their booklet is to have first a catchment basin where your creek or your spring flows into and then you'll use their specialized filter called a Sarah disc and that brings water down a supply pipe to another basin which then has another filter which takes your drive pipe on down to the pump because this is just going to be my first install just a simple test I'm only going to use one filter straight to the pump so uh, maybe in the spring when the weather is a bit warmer we will install this thing as it's meant to be installed and we'll see each catchment basement uh, and all the pipes going to this. It also recommends that you use a metal pipe if your head pressure is 15 meters or higher. I agree with that because the hammer or the uh, ram effect can be quite powerful in these pumps. So anyway, in today's video, I'm gonna be using their specialized Sarah disc filter just down a two inch drive pipe to the pump hopefully getting somewhere between five and seven feet of head pressure. And that should be more than enough pressure to lift up to my storage tanks. So let me gather all the things and I'll meet you down at the creek. Here's the location of my personal ram pump. This is dropping about uh, seven feet of input head pressure down here to the pump. And then it lifts about 35 to 40 feet up the hill way over there. So what we're gonna do first with this Papa pump is start at the intake with the Sarah disc filter. This has a, a bunch of little inlets to allow water in, but hopefully no leaves and rocks and all that. Uh, I'll probably do a separate video on this unit here, but it is uh, pretty unique. So I think what I'm gonna do is try to use this deep pool right here as my intake for the Papa pump. So everything from here on out is gonna be based on this length from here on down to over there, which hopefully is about three feet or one meter of input head pressure. So let's go ahead and start. I've got 50 feet of pipe here. So we're gonna run that up to this hole and then see where it comes out to over here. I also intend on using the delivery pipe of my current ram pump over here to test out this Papa pump. So we'll be detaching that here in just a moment. I'll do a proper install of this pump later. For today, we mostly just want to see this thing work. So I've got this Fern Co fitting that's going to be attached to the drive pipe. This right here is a low pressure point, so it's fine to use these Fern Co fittings. Now everywhere else, we would have to use couplings that will actually hold this together really nice because that water hammer effect can be quite strong. Now, one of the tricks is gonna be getting this submerged and have it downhill the whole way. So I may have to dig back some of these rocks real quick to get this down in here. So I'll probably do this without you because it's kind of a boring task, but it's gotta be done. That intake should be submerged more. I may see if I can push down on that fern co and get it in the water a bit better. I don't wanna break anything. So I can probably unscrew this, move it up a little bit, and then put a rock down here to make sure that it's always submerged. But it's close, it's right on the edge. We just don't want any air. 
on an actual install, you have to glue these or else it'll come apart. I just want to see this pump operate in this video. We'll come back and do a, a more proper install later. So this may come loose in our test. So I just want to get this attached over here to the drive pipe. Okay, got that on there. I'm still hearing some air bubble out up top. A quick look at the manual showed me that I was missing one of these rubber rings in here. So there's supposed to be three of them. I just had two. So it says one goes in like that, one goes in like this, and then there's a third one that goes like this. And that's what attaches to this tank here. So hopefully I can get this screwed back on here and it'll work this time. Okay, and now we do have to have our delivery pipe connected for this to work, so I also need to do that. Hmm. I feel like it should be popping already. I believe I have to actually put some pressure in the tank here before it's even going to work. So I may have to go get a, uh, a bicycle pump and fill that up a little bit. You're supposed to use a pressure gauge and put a certain amount of pressure in this tank. I'll have to buy a pressure gauge to uh, do that. But I've just got a bicycle pump. Not sure that did anything, but we'll just try it out. Okay, last time I turned it on, I felt a heartbeat. So let's go ahead and open this again. Okay, it's beating very fast. Let me try tightening this up a little bit. No, I don't hear it anymore. I can get this thing to cycle a little bit, but I've decided that I just don't have enough head pressure in this current setup. So I'll have to use more of my PVC to lift it up another, I don't know, three, four feet, and that should give this enough head pressure to operate. So currently it's got somewhere around two and a half to three feet, but uh, maybe it needs a bit more than that. I've extended the drive pipe by 40 feet and I think about two more feet of drop. So here's the new intake. It's gonna skirt along here. You can see where the old intake was, right here. Now obviously there's a lot less water because the flood we were having has passed. So hopefully the water we have up there is enough to run this pump now with, uh, I don't know, somewhere around five or six feet of drop. Yeah. So if here's the pump and I get kind of uh, level with our source, yeah, I'm just gonna say five foot right here down to the pump. I've only put a few rocks on the pipe, so maybe it's enough to keep this thing from bouncing loose. But anyway, let's give it a try here. Oh. Okay. Get this more upright. Hey, it's bouncing on its own. We definitely need uh, to lock this pipe down better. Cool. Well, that was easy. We just needed more head pressure. Now, I know from experience with the ram pump that whenever the delivery is closed, the whole pump is going to hit harder. Yeah. Yep, I just heard some water skirt through there. So it shouldn't hit as hard now, but I'm gonna go ahead and put some big rocks all along the pipe to prevent it from bouncing around. Are you ready? I'm gonna turn it on here, open the valve. Well, we got some cycles out of it. We must have pulled something loose somewhere because there's no more water. Let's go investigate. Didn't take long to find the problem. 
I'm gonna have to glue all this together to get some real results. I've locked down the pump a bit better with some blocks and rocks, so hopefully we will get some results now. Just enough to see this thing in action. We ready? Yeah. Oof. That probably just popped it loose again. That was pretty serious. In hopes of seeing this pump cycle, I'm going to actually stand on the drive pipe and see if we can get some actual movement out of here. Hey, now we're talking. Very cool. It is actually still moving under my weight. Very cool. Let's see if it'll still operate with this turned more to use less water. All right, what happens whenever I get off of here? Okay, good, good. Whenever this ring right here is turned, it will actually cycle with more water being used. It also hits harder, and it's gonna pull itself apart. Up, oh, it already has. Check this out up here. <laughs> That's fun. Air is getting into the system, which means the pump is going to stop down here. Okay, I just wanted to see this pump cycle. The nights are getting down below freezing, and I don't want to keep this thing out here with water sitting against it. So, stay tuned for Ram Pump and Papa Pump videos in the spring of 2022. I definitely want to do a lot of testing with this unit. If you want to watch this being unboxed and me talking more in detail about each individual piece, then check the description below for the tools, tech, and gear channel. It's a reviews channel I started a few months ago and it is starting to gain some traction. So definitely go check out the unboxing of this pump. Now I don't sell this pump yet, but uh, I did talk with Papa Pump and they said that if it works out well, then maybe I can start uh, selling it here in the U.S as they continue to grow their business. So um, anyway, just wanted to plug that. You can check out their uh, links in the description down below and I will see you in the next video. Bye.